Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm continuing on my uh, series on peptides. There's another cool one that I want to uh, uh, talk about and discuss in terms of metabolic function and longevity. A cool one's called, it's a weird name though, it's called MOTSC, M-O-T-S hyphen C. Mitochondrial open reading frame, there's a number there, I forget, but basically it's a mitochondrial drive pe pe peptides. In our cells, of course, we have our cell and our nucleus, in the, which is the center of, and then in, of course there's mitochondria. Well, the mitochondria and nucleus can actually intercommunicate and, and talk to each other and help each other out. So I'm gonna put a little diagram on, on the next video to kind of better, but it's basically a mitochondrial drive peptide and it can do many amazing things. We've just kind of discovered this in the last, you know, fairly recently about how it affects longevity and health of the, of, uh, of the human species. And certain, certain people are selected, uh, have, are genetically, uh, keep making their enhanced to uh, keep making this peptide as they get older. A lot of us lose this ability. Now, I'll explain this further, but one of the things that can, I don't know if it technically can basically improve or reverse senescence, which senescent cells are the cells that kind of are working properly, so they just kind of sit around. Sometimes, typically, our body will clear those out in a process called apoptosis. That's why you'll hear about this a lot in the literature. People, especially with uh, caloric restriction or fasting, and doing these things that can, uh, they talk about improving apoptosis and improving your cellular turnover. So it's kind of like taking out the trash. You know, if you have a something that's just sitting around the house, not take, just taking up space, you want to get rid of it. And our body does that on a regular basis. However, sometimes, especially if nutrition, sleep, stress, all these things are not dialed in, there's these cells not only just sit there, but they start pushing out these little cytokines, these little enzymes that actually cause inflammation. They're pro-inflammatory. You get something called the senescence associated secretory phenotype or SASP. It's kind of a long wordy name, but the bottom line is a lot of these senescent cells are not good. They need to be cleared out. So um, our body will take care of this if you enhance it at the cellular function, which is what we're talking about. And I'm not talking about, uh, there's a lot of things out there like rapamycin, these things that will clear out these cells, but sometimes you don't want to do that because you don't want to do that too much anyway. So there's a, as with everything, there's a balance. And we'll, we'll get into this later. I'm going down a rabbit hole, but the bottom line is you want to improve your cellular function. Get the cells that aren't working, working, and the ones that aren't working, get rid of them. And there's a certain way to do this. Uh, but anyway, back to Mata C, this is one way that can help improve this overall function. So and one of the biggest things that Mata C does is it basically promotes resistance to metabolic stress, right? We're under stress all the time, whether it's from not eating, eating too much, actually, you know, overtraining or just exercise in general, not sleeping, stress, environmental stressors, toxins, everything. We're, our bodies are constantly trying to adapt and overcome the stressors and the, uh, the, the burdens that we place on on a regular basis. So. Basically, modesty, think of it as just a way to cope with that. Uh, and no, I don't mean by drinking a, a glass of bourbon at the end of the day. Um, not, not a bad idea. Um, but um, basically, improving your cellular function at the metabolic, at the cellular level, um, basically your body, again, will they, they crosstalk. The nucleus and the mitochondria will talk to each other in order to improve your body's ability to, to handle stress. So basically, when you have a stressor, you need to exercise, your body says, hey, I need energy. It'll tell your cellular machinery to turn on and generate energy. It'll make ATP. It turns on AMPK, it does all these things to make the body work better. Uh, so this mod C basically is a, normally is something that we normally make in our mind to communicate with the nucleus to say, hey, dude, we need to turn things on, turn on uh, the Krebs cycle, right? So our bodies crank out ATP to give us energy to, to fight and to work out, and to do whatever it is we need to do. And it does that. And it has to be a certain balance, right? You, you want a certain amount of stress. Too much is not is bad, not enough is not good. We need stress. Kind of like working out, right? You stress the muscles to enhance it and to cause it to grow. Same thing with metabolic stress. That's a good thing. Same thing with free radicals. Everything's good to a point, but uh, it's all in the dose. If too much is, is a bad thing, not enough is a bad thing. So we want balance. Once again, it communicates with the nucleus. A couple of funky things that are, uh, through some of the, the, the genetic pathways, NRF2 and ARE, antioxidant reducing elements and NRF2. Those are some of the ways it communicates. So the bottom line, think of it as just crosstalks, right? And as we talk, as I talked about earlier, these levels of modest C decrease as we age. Uh, we've, it's, you know, people uh, looking at the blue zones, people in Okinawa, for example, some of these long-lived people genetically found out this is one of the reasons uh, that they keep making modest C as they get older, whereas a lot of us, we don't. So it has to do with a lot of other things too, social support, they, you know, communication, uh, daily walking, all these other things you read about the blue zones. This is a really cool little thing we, that was discovered. So... With uh, modesty, basically, it uh, does something what's called the methionine folate cycle. You don't need to know that, but bottom line is it has to do with cellular machinery in the cell, and it, it uh, changes the, the way things are metabolized in the cell, and it increases the protein called ACAR, A-I-C-A-R, which then increases AMPK, which we've talked about before, which is the, the energy sensor of the cell. It tells your body, to, hey, we need energy, turn these things on, 
helps our body to start cranking things out. You read about this with obviously with nutrition, with peptides, with fasting, all these things that can increase AMPK to tell your body to turn on energy. We need energy. It's not in storage mode, it's in, it's in uh, exertion mode. Crank out the energy so we could we could run, we could fight, we could do whatever build whatever it is we need to do to clear out those apoptosis, to clear out those cells in apoptosis. That's what AMP. Yeah, I can't talk to AMPK does. So <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna. This is part one on modesty. I'm gonna continue in part two shortly.